Hey everyone and welcome to day 17 of our 21 day fast, stagnation. Mm. Deuteronomy 1 verse 6 to 8 says, The Lord our God said to us at Horeb, You have stayed long enough at this mountain. Break camp and advance into the hill country. In verse 8 he says, I see. I have given you this land. Go in, take possession of the land that the Lord has given to your fathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and to their descendants after them. Israel has been delivered out of Egypt, yet they have been camped out at Mount Horeb for about a year. However, this was not the promised land. It was time for them to move. Whenever God brings us out of something, it is so that he can bring us into something else. The Israelites knew the dangers that could come in trying to possess the land. So instead, they stayed in their comfortable zone. How long are you going to be living in your comfortable zone? You go to work, you come home, you pay your bills, you do it all over again the next day. You refuse to do anything that's going to challenge you or take you away for your, from your comfortability. But God never intended for the Christian or the church to stand still. Why? Because we're soldiers, a mighty army. We should be advancing, not camping out at the mountain. A stagnant river breeds mosquitoes, diseases, and even death. An unmoved car is destroyed by rust. A person who lays in bed and never moves develops bed sores. We need to go to the next level. As a Christian, you need to take your spiritual life to the next level. Philippians 3 verse 10 to 14 says, I want to know Christ intimately. And I know that I'm not there yet, but I'm going to keep on pressing. I'm going to keep on pushing until I get to the goal, until I get to the prize that Jesus has for me. Some of you don't know any more Bible than you knew a year ago. Some of you have never won a soul for Christ. Some of you still only come to church on Sunday morning. Some of you have not even stepped into the responsibility of being in a ministry because you're content to camp out in your church row. You will let everyone else shoulder all the work so that you can be comfortable. Some of you have not even memorized a verse, a scripture in months. There is so much land that needs to be possessed, but it's going to require more of you. And it's going to require you to get up and move. I want you to declare and decree these declarations over your life today. And as you say them, I want you to believe with all of your heart that God is doing exactly what it is that you're saying with your mouth. Let's do this. I break every power and altar that is resisting my growth and progress in life in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. I release myself by the power of the Holy Ghost from the prison house of stagnation and the backwardness that Satan has kept me in all of these years in the name of Jesus. Lord, give me wings to fly and grant me speed as I fly so that I can recover all that I have lost and everything that Satan has kept me from achieving during my years of bondage in the name of Jesus. Father, I decree and declare today that you are delivering me from the spirit of laziness, my God. Transformation is a process that's going to take work. So keep praying, keep pushing, and keep persisting change. Have a wonderful afternoon, everyone.